Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Um, we have circularized our orbit and we are heading for Minmus. So you head off about here ish. Already set up our our plane, so we should get periapsis. So that periapsis of nine hundred thousand six six twenty seven five. Four, three, two, one hundred, eighty-five, and we might leave it as that because that's probably of the height I might want to put my one my satellites so we might do that um, that will need 907 and delta v we have got roughly yeah that should do it we're not bringing any of this back so So that's the way we're coming round. We'll do a a burn to bring us into orbit, and that should be good. I'll execute that burn. I don't know why it's saying um, signal delay, but and any second now, here it goes. And that's pushing that out. 300 meters per second to go. Here it comes, starts pushing it out now. And that'll do. So it gives us an encounter with a periapsis. So it turned it a hundred and odd thousand, so. Fuel situation, still got a fair amount there, we should be fine. Um, we'll kill that, have another look at our ship, and I will set that to point to Kerbin and activate it. That way we'll have at least one dish pointing. We'll also extend this one so that we don't forget and the solar panels here. Brilliant. That should do it for us. So let's walk to there and just check that we're happy with everything. Electrical charge is good. Signal should be good. I can't see any lines because I turned that off. Signal is very good. Pointing all the way back to there. So let's walk to the phase change. Any second now. There we go. We are now. in there let's do telemetry report and send that back let's stop our warp add a maneuver and if we start slowing down now
that'll start bringing us around whether we got doesn't look like we've got that delta v but that's fine that's not a problem we're not bringing it back we could possibly borrow a little bit of the fuel from these guys just trying to decide whether we really want to do that or not I thought I'd put some other science experiments on here. Obviously I didn't. I thought I'd put temperature and and things like that. But maybe I didn't. So we'll select that one, curve in as well, and activate it. And we'll select that one and activate it. And that one will set and activate it and get these solar panels out as well so we'll go to the node and execute please because we want to lower our periapsis a little bit and then we'll just accelerate time until the gas runs out basically no nope, still got more gas there. Ah oh, no, we haven't. Not in there, we haven't. So, this one. Let's just check and make sure I'm not doing anything silly. They're extended, they're activated, and have targets. So, to begin with, decouple. We'll switch to it. Why have you not got signal resources? You have a battery and a probe. Ah, oh, we're on that thing. There we go, that's better. I was getting worried there. Yep, you've got everything. So we will activate the engine. We've got 2,000 delta V on here, so we've got loads and loads here. Electrical charge. We're in the dark, we're charging up. Yep, we're charging up, so that's good. So let's set ourselves a maneuver node for this one. Right on the periapsis, I think this one will be. Just get into a circleization. That would do. Actually, let's bring it down a bit. That would do. On the node, why not rotating? You got reaction wheels, haven't you? Control from here. Oops. Ah, wrong flight computer. This one, node. There we go. Now we're doing it right. And execute. Right, and we will set us an alarm. For add a new alarm. Now, before we do that, let's yes. rename vessel Minsat 1 or Minmasat 1. There we go. Right, alarm clock for the maneuver node with. 10 minutes warning. Don't know what that means. Add it. What are all these? These are all these are all old ones, aren't they? Just get rid of all these. There we go, right. 
So that one's going to get ready to do that. And now we switch. This is the main ship, isn't it? You've got no fuel, so get rid of you. Go to orbital retrograde. Well, I can't even see the other satellite. Oh, no, you're right. Retrograde, that's good. Hold on. Why are you spinning around? I'm still on that computer. Right, go back to him. Not him, him. Activate it. Right. Close the computer. Guy, make sure you're on the right thing. Right. Computer. Orbital retrograde. Here we go. Any point making it crash into the moon? Into the Minmus? No. So, we've got dish point to the Kerbin, we've got our antenna, everything's good. Decouple? Sure you don't want to give him any, any, any fuel at all. Just making sure that I don't want to do anything else with this. It's got no other science unfortunately on it. I meant to put some others on. I thought I had. I'm sure I put it in there, right on that base there. But apparently I haven't got any, so never mind. Uh, so there's no point can do telemetry reports. That's it. No, we're we're done with that one. He is heading to the deep space. Right, this is the guy we're interested in. Activate the engine. It's looking good. Got electrical charge, plenty of it. And here we might. Let's do a maneuver a bit nearer. Gets us in a bit lower, doesn't it? Or we want a higher. We could go with a higher periapsis on this guy, couldn't we? Oh, not that much. Gosh. Uh, we got enough fuel. Let's just let's just put it into into an orbit and be done with it. We can tinker with it later because that's got 54 delta v and I got 2,000. So we put it onto the node. Wrong computer again. Put it onto the node. Execute. We'll add an alarm again. Hold on, before we do that, we will rename this. Rename vessel. Minmus Sat 2. That's it. Add 10 minutes before. So yeah, kill warp, display message, show message, always show message. Oh, let's play sound as well, just because we're learning more about it. Time to node is 4 hours, 10 minutes. Time to alarm, 4 hours. Well, we haven't got very long between them, have we? 
That's a good point. Got about 17 seconds between them. Let's do this one just a bit later. Right, add it 10 minutes beforehand, add alarm, what have we got between them now? We've got a few minutes between them now, so let's switch back to this guy, just so we can see whether these things are working. That's not your computer, so we'll close it. Let's close that. Let's take that screenshot because that looked pretty, didn't I? Speed up time a little bit, let's put the HUD back on again so we know what's going on. So we're coming out of time warp, just waiting for the alarm clock to tell me. There we go. Jump to ship and restore maneuver node. Replace maneuver node. Note there's already maneuver. No, we shouldn't need to replace it. Should be a good maneuver node. So we are currently looking at. We're in set two. We're in set two. Plus four seconds. I need to be on the other one, don't I? Why am I looking at moon sat two? Moon Sat 2 is further forward, so let's have a look at these. You haven't got anything set to do it. Okay, so you're going to do it in 10 minutes. What was that noise? Oh, they're just too far apart for me to... Moon set one. Switch two. Got eight minutes. I don't know why these have been turned off. If anyone knows how exactly how all this lot works, feel free to tell me because I don't know. I ah, see. So jump to moon side, Jump to ship and restore maneuver node. Jump to ship. Moon set to maneuver node. is in nine minutes. Right, what are you? Moonset one. 
seven minutes nine minutes seven minutes definitely this is the one we need to be on and it's disappeared again Bringing it in and engine shut down. Excellent. Shut that down. Close that. Moon set one. Moon set two. Switch two. Our manoeuvre node is in a few minutes still. Get onto node and execute. There we go. Shut that down. And there we have it, we have two satellites in two different types of orbit. And one ship. There's the sun. Oh, look at that. And there is, that is Minmus. Our first close-up view of Minmus. There's the other ships over there. So we forget about this ship now because it's now going off into a higher orbit, disappearing. Curb and escape it is just going to orbit the sun. So he's gone to us. Moon set two. Moon set two switch to him. And let's see whether this is uh, going to complete. There's Minimus. Yeah, 95%. And we're circling the planet. Right. Problem is... Problem is, are they going to lose signal? Probably. Could do with one of these being a polar orbit, really. Let's see what it take. Let's try that again. Add a manoeuvre. Polar orbit. Eighty two. That's not a lot. I'd like a polar orbit like that so that we are always can see Minmus um Kerbin. Just tidy this up a bit.
That might be the best we can do to start with. That looks a bit better. Hey, how about that? One nine four three hundred is one five one nine. I'm, I'm going to go with that. That seems pretty good to me. Should keep us in contact with Kerbin at all times, I think. Add a maneuver node, moon set to and give me again ten minutes. Add the alarm. Brilliant, right. Switch to this one. Just want to get him into a closer orbit. So here, I want to add a maneuver, slow him down to 20. So I need it in low orbit. There we go, that's much better. Computer, node, execute. And that's in four minutes time. That's just 6.8 on the node, yep. Brilliant. I can put him into a different orbit another time, but I need that for this contract. Uh, collect. So I've got the Kerbal stuff. We're cu already now. We're, um, we're currently. I mean, must we need to get in low space and do a telemetry thing and send that back, and we'll get that one as well. We will be sending one to the uh, um, uh, another probe to Minbus to pick up the goo and the. Uh, material bay pretty soon but we'll see what happens after that so just get to here there we go we're, well, we're actually at 23 so we can do telemetry report and we'll send that back because he's got coverage in fact he's going it looks like he could he's going direct is he Or you can go back to Moonsat 2 at the moment who then go. So that should, yep, that's completed that contract. And that's 37,000 for science, which is good. And the whole contract's completed. So that's 10 more science and 54. So that's that contract done and dusted and out of the way. So where do we want this one to go to now? Maybe we will do the same with this one, another polar. I think we're just leaving where he is for the time being. Yeah, we're just leaving where he is for now. Now let's see whether this alarm clock pulls us around to the right place or not. should tell us 
to switch ships. Here it goes. Right, switch ships. Time to pay attention to Moonset 2, nearing maneuver node. Uh, time will halt it. Jump to ship. Right, we're now here, so we'll close the alarm. Bring up the computer. Yeah, and that time it's kept it, so I'm not sure exactly what I did differently that time. So we're on the right position. We'll time warp again and we will allow the computer to take us out of time warp this time. Quick F5. Lovely. Turn it off, we can get rid of that alarm now. And that, I think, will be in constant connection to Kerbal. Certainly while we're the active vessel. Make sure these are all turned out of the way so I can see. Shakedown has got 2,050. Six days, two hours and fifty, and two days. Brilliant. I'm really happy with that one. We're going to leave this one where we are. We can always move him somewhere else. He's got so much delta V to move elsewhere. So we're pretty much done with um, with that particular set of satellites. So we can go to. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please consider giving me a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to hear about when I do support videos. In the meantime, if you want to click on one of the other videos that I've done on uh, on a different game, then uh, these are my latest ones. Please go ahead. Or if you click on the next video in this series, that'll take you directly to the next video in this series if I've done it and uploaded it. Thanks for watching.